Emean Tartars who are able to leap 20 to 30 feet in the air and drop said cocktails into enemy tanks. It's pretty cool to watch actually. But the whole world is worried. The US is still recovering from the massive disco zombie attack and NATO nearly collapsed due to the lack of response of Europe at sending troops to help fight the zombies in the US. It was because no one liked the president. Yup. Turns out having a psychopath for a president means people are not likely to help you. Still, nature abhors a vacuum, and where NATO isn't helping in terror like it is on Earth, one man steps up to make a difference. That would be one of the two remaining Beatles Sir Paul McCartney. Goodwill in Russia is after the famous concert he gave several years ago. That is correct. Boy I sure wish I could be a fly on the wall in the room while this is going on. Actually. Yes. We actually have a fly reporter. Seriously. Seriously. Well hot damn, let's go to him live now. <laughs> This is Guy McFly, your insect eye in the sky. Can you guys hear me? Yes, we can hear you. Check, check, check. Can you hear me? You are heard. Great. Can you hear the sound coming from the room? No, we can't hear a thing. Ah, can that's a shame. Closer? This is really interesting stuff. What are they saying? Sir Paul McCartney has just entered the room, and he's talking with Putin. That makes sense. Putin is saying how big of a fan of Paul McCartney he is. Paul McCartney is telling Putin that he will do a personal performance if he withdraws his troops from North Korea. Don't you mean Ukraine? Oh, sorry, my Russian is bad. I meant the Ukraine. Crap, I hope that North Korea comment didn't give. Okay, okay. Putin thinks this is a fabulous idea, except that he is good friends with the president of North Korea and thinks that North Korea has a good idea about kidnapping artists and making them perform for them. Oh dear. Sir Paul McCartney is very upset at this and is threatening... What is he threatening? Oh dear, Putin is saying that he's not going to be able to threaten anything because he's in Russia now and Putin controls Russia. And he has to give a private performance right now with his lover. Who is that? No, now Putin's security guards are taking Paul McCartney into the next room. I'm going to try and follow. Do we know? Be careful, guy. Okay, I'm in the room. I'm watching. And there seems to be a man in a giant Winnie the Pooh outfit. What? Zzz, zzz. I think it might be the president of zzz. the galaxy. No, that couldn't be. Yes, yes, it is. It's the president of the Putin fan club. And it's Putin's Putin and Z are 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 engaging in carnal activities. Oh dear. Oh my oh, God. Oh dear. Sir Paul McCartney has a gun to his head. And they're making him sing. Oh, this is very, very awkward and very, very uncomfortable. Wait, wait, what is it? there's something up. Yes, someone is crashed through the skylight and is sending tennis balls to knock out the two guards. Why, it's... Is it Roger? Roger Federer. He's come here to rescue Paul McCartney. He's got some kind of a grapple gun and the two of them are leaving through the skylight. Correct. This is incredible. This is amazing. Sir Paul McCartney has been rescued by Roger Federer. Wait, wait. What's wrong? Putin is saying something about sweeping for bugs. Oh no. Oh, they mean literal bugs. Oh no! Run, guy, run.
Sadly Guy McFly is missing in action but the pictures he took of Xi and Putin having carnal relations was sufficient blackmail material for NATO to keep them from starting a war in Ukraine. On Terra anyway. Good night and good luck. This has been the Tossing Grenades at Windmills podcast. Buy my book, Have Name Will Travel, at Amazon and other markets. RedAnvilCreative.com contains all our podcasts. Copyright 2022. To fight the forces of evil.